y'all doing? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber. If you don't know me, if you do know me, you know my name's Amber. Welcome me back, guys. Welcome me back. I haven't done a video in like a month. Something like that. I've been on holiday, I've been doing everything, all this crazy shit, and I just... I've had time, I'm not even gonna see my lions, I have not had time, but... I've not had the willpower, so there's that. So today, as you can tell by my title, I'm going to be reviewing a sunscreen that I recently bought. I didn't want to review it straight away because I actually wanted to test it in a hot environment, and I went to Turkey on the 26th. 25th of August and came back on the 8th and used this sunscreen the whole time I was there So I'm pretty sure I have quite an in-depth review I obviously don't know, you know, the scientific side of all of it The sun causes 90% of premature aging, okay? Uh, I ain't finna get old anytime soon I'm gonna look like a 12 year old when I'm 50 I literally got mistaken for a 13 year old when I went to Turkey by a 10 year old girl and if she's watching it, she know who she is, you know who you is. If you'd like to see more videos like this then please don't forget to subscribe. So the sunscreen that I'm going to be telling you my review of today is the Skinny's Conquer um, with Macuna Oil Sports Sunscreen. It is SPF 50 plus which means that it's more than 50. Yes, it is. It lasts for four hours and is water resistant. It claims to last for four hours even if you are in the water as well. So, that's this. It's for like sports, you know, like people who like do rafting and stuff like that. So first I'm gonna tell you a few facts, like what the company have said on their website, and I'm going to tell you my opinion. So, the facts are, the opinions of the company are very, very big on sustainability, which is great. Who doesn't want to buy from a company who actually is conscious about how, how they want to treat the world and stuff like that, that's great. And I pay the extra some sum for someone that actually gives a damn about the world, you know, some places is pumping out plastic out their eyes. Oh, I shouldn't say that, um, <laughs> but they are. They actually use sugarcane packaging, which I actually didn't know until today. I, I searched up some facts about it and I was quite like surprised that they actually do sugarcane packaging. So they use 0% of water in this sunscreen because most sunscreens nowadays, they have about 50 to 70% worth of water in them, which we all know is bad for the environment. I'm not sure how it's bad for the environment, but we know it is, you know, when people say that when we make new clothes and stuff, we use so many gallons of water and it's bad for the environment. Well, this has no water inside the formula. I'm not sure if they use water to make the packaging or anything like that. And getting rid of the water in the formula actually makes the packaging a lot smaller. This 100 milliliter tub, squeezy bottle thing, this is equivalent to a 500 milliliter bottle of regular sunscreen which has water in it, meaning you're using way less packaging, so you're doing better for the earth again. So this is a sports sunscreen. I bought it because I want to be protected as hell. I don't do sports, but I swam a lot when I went on holiday, so I did sports. <laughs> SPF 50 plus, and this is great because obviously it gives you the most protection for your money. Only actually like a 1% difference between SPF 50 and SPF 30. SPF 30 blocks around 97% of the UV, while SPF 50 blocks around 98%, which is only 1% more, which isn't that much more protection, but honestly, I'm gonna take all the protection I can get at this point, so I'm buying SPF 50 and give down whatever it says about anything, okay? I got what I for 1% is worth it to me. It's reef safe, which uh, Skincare by Hiram talks about a lot when it comes to sunscreens because obviously the coral reefs in Hawaii, he lives there, so he makes more of an effort to have stuff that is reef safe, and this is reef safe, so that's great. I hope he reviews it one day and tells me his actual opinion on it, because I don't know anything about ingredients or anything like that, but I just know that this says it's reef safe, so it should be. It has UVA and UVB protection. UVC is irrelevant, the earth absorbs that, so, well, that's what I think. I'm not, I'm, I know I'm saying like, <laughs> I know, I know I'm saying it like I think I know it, but I read it, but I don't know if it's the truth. Like, just because you read something doesn't mean it's the truth. That's vegan friendly and against animal cruelty. 
It has no parabens, parabens? It has no parabens, no preservatives. It also doesn't have any fragrance in it and it is alcohol free. It doesn't dry your skin and it doesn't irritate your skin with fragrances. Okay, so now we're getting to my opinion side of things. I'm going to start with the positives because there's a lot more than the negatives. So, my first positive is, is that there is no white cast whatsoever. Need that. I don't want to be whitewashed by my sunscreen and this perfectly does not do that. It doesn't even, it's not even semi-white, like, I don't, I'll show you a little blob of it and put some on because I haven't put any on today and I'm facing the sun. Hello sun, today's your day to make me old because I'm not wearing this right now. Feels light on the skin, which is great because I've honestly I've only ever tried two other sunscreens in my life. I tried the CeraVe uh, daily moisturizer, which has SPF 25, and I tried the Nip and Fab Gly post glycolic acid sunscreen, which is SPF. 30 I believe. Both of those sunscreens felt so heavy on my skin, felt like my skin was oily and horrible. It was just, no, it was just not it. Glycolic one by Nick and Fab gave me an awful white cast and it stung the shit out of my eyes. My eyes did not like me. And then the CeraVe one was just, it felt greasy, it felt horrible. Like it was like, it was, it was my daily moisturizer so I definitely had to use it. Like you're supposed to use sunscreen every day. You bare minimum sunscreen, okay? It was just, it was just not for me. It made my skin feel oily and made me feel like, cause I sweat heavily on my top lip. It just, and it went always wet in my mouth and it tasted disgusting. This tastes all right. I know like you're not supposed to be eating it, but it tastes all right. You don't have to use a lot. You actually only need a pea size for your entire face, your neck, and your ears. Like, when you're using sunscreen with water in it, you've got a whole dollop in your hand. Just, just for your face, just for your face. I'm gonna show you how it comes out, because it, it's a bit stiff, like, oh, not, not today. So, use about that much. And then you just get a little bit for everywhere on your skin. I've still got my thingy pads on, but that's okay. Smell your ears real quick. And then I like to just extra lightly. I feel like when I first used it the first few times, I was a bit too rough. With the um, with the formula on my skin, when I first got it, the formula was a bit more tough, tougher. Like it was really hard to squeeze it out of the bottle. So I think maybe because I've been to Turkey and I was in the sun, it you know made it a bit more easier to come out. Like melted it a little bit. It wasn't ever stored directly in the sunlight, so I, I'm <laughs> I'm guessing that that's all right. So yeah. That is my entire face covered, my entire neck covered, and my ears covered. Well, I hope so. I can't really see or feel it to know if it's covered, and because it doesn't give me a white cast, I can't like see physically <laughs> if it's on my face on certain areas. Which is good and bad at the same time. I just really want a UV camera because it just be the best thing to buy. And now I'd only have to wait two minutes to go in the sun. A usual sunscreen, it says on the bag, wait 20 minutes before going into the sun. I'm not sure why it says that, and I'm not sure why this one is quicker, but it says it's quicker, so I'm just telling you what it says, to be honest. Um, another good one is that it doesn't sting my eyes. My eyes, when I use that post-glycolic and the, um, what's it called, the CeraVe one, stung like a I used to like purposely avoid the eye area just so that it wouldn't sting the hell out of my eyes. And honestly, that's not good. Sunscreen causes 90% of premature aging. And where's the first places that people age? Around the mouth and around their eyes and on their forehead. I need it around my eyes. I can literally, I've literally put this inside of my eye to, to test and see if it would make my eyes sting and it didn't. So, A star for that one, skinny. So, I don't know if you can tell, like, but my skin isn't shiny. Like, you'd, you'd be able to tell. Look at my glasses. They're shiny as hell. My skin isn't shiny. It's dried down very quick. You can still obviously feel there's something on your skin. 
but not half as much as the other sunscreens I've used. It works perfectly over moisturiser and it works amazing under foundation, anything like that. Um, it doesn't like slip and slide and all that crap. Um, when I was on holiday, I absolutely love water. I love the pool, I love everything to do with swimming. So I was swimming a lot and it was a nice peace of mind knowing that this is water resistant for four whole hours, which I think that is great because there was one time I'm pretty sure I spent like more than four hours in the pool. I was looking, I was, I had the bloody snorkel on and I love it when you have the snorkel. <gasps> okay, 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 I'm gonna just calm down. There's only a few cons that I have, a few negatives. So the first one is, is that the, the texture's really weird. Like, when I first opened it and put it in my hand, I was like, this is like poo. It feels like poo. So this is Future Amber editing the video and realising that I've said some of the things a bit wrong. I just said that the texture was like poop at first and it was kind of like poop. But now it's a lot softer, so what I'm about to say about me only putting it on certain areas of my body, I'm probably going to use this for my whole body now because it's softer and way more easier to spread around large areas. It's great for a facial sunscreen and I use it on like, I have a few scars on my leg and I have like my, like my shoulders and the tops of my hands, just the places that matter the most to me I guess and then I just use regular sunscreen like that that one that just sp spurts on on the rest because it just it's just way easier and my last con is that it is hard to wash up it it's really I don't know it's like because it's water resistant you have to use some sort of cleansing oil or something at the end of the day normally like the other sunscreens I've ever used, you literally just needed a bit of water and it'd be gone. But that is, you know, that's the point of it. It is water resistant, it's a sport. So of course it's gonna be a bit harder to get off with just water. I use like oil-based or like cl like cleansing milk because they, they work pretty well to like make me feel like, you can feel it on your skin. So you can feel when it's off. So yeah, pretty good. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's everything. I think I've covered every everything. If anybody has any questions to ask me, then don't worry. I, you can just comment them down below and I will come forth to answer them for you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Share it with your friends, I don't mind. And if you'd like me to do any more reviews on any different sunscreens, then just let me know in the comments because I will totally do more reviews on more sunscreens because sunscreen is very, very important. So if that's everything. I think I'll see you guys later. Bye!